Hello, I'm Solo XO. Welcome to Potato Craft. Okay, just spawned here. Gonna mark this out real quick. So I remember. All right, task one. Punch wood. So start in this series. This is my first video ever. Um, it's called Potato Craft because I'm literally running this on a potato of a computer. Um, that means we're going to have lag spikes, low frame rates, low FPS. Um, We're also going to have bad audio, which I'm sure you can hear by now. And just going to do my best and play some Minecraft, see how that goes. Um, first, I'm just going to make some starter tools. And then first thing I do, and or I guess the second thing I do in every Minecraft world is find a bed because I don't like mobs coming and trying to kill me while I'm trying to do stuff. So I gotta find some sheep or a village real quick and then we can talk some more. Um, I will say I just spawned in this world. I did load up the world so I could put in some data packs but I Loaded the world and immediately exited, so I didn't know even what the spawn looks like. It's the first time I'm seeing it. It's in a nice forest. And then I shut down, or I closed it, and then once I loaded the data packs in and all that, now I'm here talking to you lovely people and rambling if you can't tell I'm nervous never done this before don't really know what to say so I'll just continue looking for sheep doesn't look like too bad of a spawn it's in a forest which is always nice and next to an ocean which I love like I think spawning next to an ocean is the best you got you know like so many resources so much access to the rest of the world being landlocked on a spawn definitely makes mid game and an early game a little harder I am not finding any sheep there's iron though that's nice I can come back to that are we on an island Pretty big island if it's an island. I don't know. Here, sheepy, sheepy, sheepies. Bah. Savannah. Oh, a village. Okay. There's our bed cover. And a ruined portal over there. Ah. Let's go get a bed. Let's take this bed. Yellow. Okay. Hey, yellow. All right. So as you can see, this is my setup. I'm running on Windows 7, old, old computer uh, with i5s. I do have 16 gigs with 8 gigs allocated to the game. Um, 
but so it runs pretty well it just you know I'm at 27 frames per second I'll average that as we build up more stuff or near jungle that'll go down but I mean it is what it is I've been wanting to do a show for a long time and I wanted to do a story based Minecraft series um, but I've put it off for years now because uh, I did not have the capability with my computer stuff and so ultimately it comes down to like I can try to do one and do my best just do a let's play as like a little test series which this is what this is or I can continue until all situations and stuff is perfect and ultimately I'm long story short food yes and potatoes first potatoes a potato craft nice um, it comes down to I'm poor so I can't afford to buy a nice gaming computer and all of that to like get started at the moment but I'm hoping as this series goes forward we'll be able to upgrade the computer upgrade the audio and and maybe you all can join me on this journey and watching this series evolve into something a little more professional uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes uh, yay some armor styling um, yeah so I mentioned data pack oh there's a jungle over there oh that's cool I mentioned some data packs I using uh, from vanilla tweaks which you can look at the address right there and go there uh, it's my favorite site for data packs they're just bug free they work they're safe you know good people uh, I use anti enderman griefing just simply because no one likes uh, enderman coming and ruining their builds or their redstone and stuff it's just annoying and you end up with random blocks everywhere just don't like it and then I'm using more mob heads because everyone loves mob heads. Who doesn't want mob heads? They're fun. They're good for decorating and stuff. So those are the only two data packs. I am running on fabric. Uh, just because uh, I usually play with mods like Lightmatica and Mini HUD and... Uh, free can and stuff currently I'm not doing that because I can't run a lot of stuff you know at the same time eventually I will probably add those mods and uh, really like play how I normally play but at the moment we're not running any mods Um, it also took me a while to find uh, a video capture program that I could figure out and uh, run because OBS doesn't work on Windows 7. You have to have Windows 10 now and that's a problem that I'm running into is you have to have Windows 10 for a lot of things. Like I can't even play Course Forge, Forge mods or anything. But... Uh, a lot of that's irrelevant so that's basically the gist of it so hopefully we can uh, some iron that's always good mm, I'll take that uh, we'll play some Minecraft and hopefully get this series sounding better maybe less rambly and hopefully do some cool stuff yeah. Um, if you are somehow finding this video, then uh, 
YouTube actually showed it to someone because it's being my first video. And uh, with no views and stuff, I'm sure the algorithm is, is loving it, right? Um, but if you do happen to see this, uh, leave a like and subscribe and all of that good stuff. Show me a little support. With no support, I might get discouraged and just turn off Minecraft and never play again and sit in a corner and cry and be all sad. And no one wants that. No one wants to be sad. What am I doing? I'm kidding, by the way. I would like some feedback though and see what you guys would like to see or any suggestions you have about this series and uh, what I can do to entertain you all and have a good time it's just going to be a rambly let's play at the moment get through this first day and sleep so I don't have to deal with any monsters because no one likes monsters now after I have a bed and a little bit of food where okay where spawn spawns there um, after I have everything like set I usually like to orient myself back at spawn, find where that first little chest monster is going to grow. I like to stay close to spawn at the beginning so when I inevitably die, I uh, am where I need to be and not a million miles off the face of the earth. So I'm going to find that pillar where I marked it, which I think is back this way, somewhere. And then we go exploring. I like early game Minecraft because it's always know what you have to do in a way, right? You got to survive. You gotta get to where you need to go. Get your food, get your early games, do your little bit of grind, and it gives you a path. Uh, oh, it's over there, okay. Uh, find in later game where we get to build like, you know, mega projects and mega bases and big farms and stuff. I love it. Um, Oftentimes, though, you can get into a situation to where you uh, get bored and don't know what to do anymore. Early game, you don't get that because you know what you got to do. And also, I spend a lot of time playing on an SMP where we have, like, everything, right? So it's almost like playing in creative. And you can go a year or more without ever playing this part of the game and it's a it's a different mindset it's a different play style and so I miss it so whenever I start a new world it's like exciting it's like yeah what is out there what can we do all the possibilities it's, it's amazing um, but luckily for the end game but, uh, there's enough content in the end game is what I'm trying to say that uh, you'll never run out of things to do that's best game in the world am I right yeah let's go get that iron and some coal Lovely forest. I haven't seen any cows around. I don't think so. This forest is kind of bare of, of animals, which is interesting. 
Uh, some more iron over here too. Thank you, sir. Ooh, pretty good spawn so far from what I've seen. We got the village that was right over there. Plenty of resources around. If you happen to leave a comment on here, watching this far into the video let me know how these sounds sound i don't like i know my audio is bad i know that's i'm gonna sound low probably and mumbling if my tests hold out from how i tested it um but it was the best i could get it but i tried balancing the game sounds as well and i'm not sure how they sound versus each other so we'll see. Um, yeah. Let's go get that iron. Let's go get some iron. Let's go get some iron. Do 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 do. Where did I see that iron? Did the iron man reach back in the storm? Maybe it was. So that's the iron I saw. Thank you, sir. But let's go check out the village. Grab some crops, some more food. Be a little more prepared, see what's around. It looks like a meadow. the village. Always be a good neighbor and replant. all the crops. That's good. The thing I always like to have early on. Ooh, best workstation in the game. Uh, black Stallion right there. It's getting dark again. Look, there's a chicken. Hi, chicken. Dude, that's my mother. You're ta you freaking rude. Talking about my mother like that. Oh my god, what a, this is the rudest chicken I've ever met. What the hell? What the poop, man? Freaking chicken. Free food. Yeah. I should whack that chicken. Come here, chicken. That's for talking about my mommy. No one's mean to my mommy. Okay. Oh, that was bad. I'm sorry, chicken. I know you did something wrong, but violence is... I'm sorry I acted out of violence and anger. Please forgive me, chicken. Dude, don't be 
like oh my god whatever i apologize i'm sorry for hitting you please be nice to people chicken you're so rude whatever i'm out i try that chicken just i can't repeat what he said obviously that wouldn't be kind but i shouldn't hit him that violence isn't the answer What is that? Another village. Look at that. Definitely lagging. Some loading in the jungle on the chunks. Look at that, two villages right at spawn. Lots of loot there. Lots of loot up there too. Blacksmith thing. Huh. Here's a butcher shop. I might even get some more leather armor. Any clothes for me? Oh yeah. Free food. Styling and wild. Hi brown sheep. Ooh. Look at that. I'm not going there though. I don't feel like dying this early in the game. I guess I should collect that wheat. Oink oink buddies. Oink oink. to you boo oh yeah love the cow lots of horses beautiful melons Everything. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do not boat into the lava. Oh, I was scared. I was scared. Beautiful. Little I jungle islands and stuff. Pumpkins up there. Mm. 
What? 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 Where's the Twilight boy? No, no. I can't even see where they were hitting. Oh, that's where they were hitting. Ah! Oh no! 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 That almost caught me right in my pooper. Oh! oh my gosh. No! I don't even know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What am I gonna do? Run. It is too early for that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was early. I guess I'm going this way. be my friend bird come here bird be my friend be my friend blue birdie hello birder be my friend please oh fine I really want you to be my friend. Birdie. Where are you going? Look, I got this for you. Yeah, you're my first friend. Oh, it's been so long since I've had a friend. I love you, Birdie. Birdie, Birdie. Yeah, let's go with you by my side. I bet we can get my boat back. Yeah, birdie. Birdie, 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 birdie. Is the mean man gone? Come on, birdie, let's go before the mean man comes back. Pumpkins. Oh, wait, I'm Coco Bean, I guess. Birdie? Birdie? Oh, there you are, come on. Birdie, look. Got iron, Birdie. Yeah. Come on, Birdie. So we are on an island. That's kind of cool, I guess. Alright, 
that's where I think we're going to leave this episode today. It's going to be a short one. Not much done. Um, we found Birdie, which is lovely. Now I don't feel so alone and sad all the time. Uh, we spawn in the world in this forest on this island. And we looked around a little bit. The next episode, we'll hopefully build a little starter house. A little more experience. Or he maybe get geared up a little. Who knows? I have no plan. So we'll see what Birdie wants to do. Until then, have fun.